All right, guys, this is a senior portrait session. Here I am taking a full body shot there after posing my uh, senior. Here I am coming a little closer for a little, uh, maybe three quarter uh, shot right above the knees, uh, in between the waist. Again, I'm shoring up my shot. I'm taking a few shots. I am the king of the shore up, y'all. I take a lot of shots and I think most photographers do. Here is a beautiful close up. Uh, you have to take you know enough photos because sometimes uh, you know somebody will come out uh, with the eyes uh, you know closed or uh, maybe the photo not sharp i have tons of photos and they're all beautiful they're all sharp but take tons of photo i am the king of redundancy <laughs> uh, but i i think most photographers are uh here i am uh, fixing my uh, my senior, my model, kind of telling her to brush her hand through her hair so we can kind of get the next look for the next photo. Here I am holding her by her wrist and placing her arm uh, kind of right behind her neck, nice and softly. I have both arms kind of staggered from one another. So it's just a beautiful shot. Um, and I'm having her maybe tilt her head a little bit, maybe lean in a little bit and kind of here comes the shot. Uh, bam just beautiful as you see she is just natural she's having fun uh, here comes another shot again you want to make sure you take uh, plenty of, of photos I wouldn't say I take a million photos but I definitely uh, do a little uh, redundancy uh, you know with my photos because I, I want to make sure uh, nothing is worse than going home and getting a shot and have it be with the eyes closed or something blurry uh, here I come again and I am gonna pose her for the next shot. And uh, got her there, now I'm kind of framing my shot. This particular pose I did not uh, like. I did not like how this came out in post-production, so I did not use that pose. Uh, here I am going for another pose. Notice how I grab her by her wrist and forearms. You know, I, I don't, but you gotta make sure you don't really touch clients. Uh, you know, so just, you know, hold on by, uh, by the, by the, by the forearms or by the wrist and just, uh, just move the arm for them and you could easily fix them the way that you want. Uh, so here I am kind of getting her the way that I want. Again, this shot is a little similar to, um, our beginning shots, but again, I was just making sure I had enough, uh, good stuff. Cause one of the shots. Uh, her, she has beautiful curly hair and one of the curls kept going right over the eye. I think you guys know how that goes. So I took a, a few extra shots just to make sure that uh, in case the other ones had um, uh, the curl, uh, you know, uh, in between the eye. And that's something for you guys to, to keep in mind. Here I am, you know, here's the close up and it's just beautiful. Hair is out of the way. Now, I did something for, she actually changed. As you see in this shot, she has totally changed her outfit. And I did something that I should have done from the gate and it's used the fan. As you guys see, I am now using my fan and it, and it gives it a totally different look on the hair. Definitely supermodel status uh, when you use the fan. I uh, make sure that it serves a couple of purposes. One, you're gonna have that fuller hair kind of blowing in the air, and you're gonna see more of her face, and you're gonna uh, stop that hair from going in the eyes, which is definitely a a, a, a photo no-no. Uh, so here I am, kind of you know showing her a little bit how she came out, showing her, her photos. As you can see by her reaction. I think you guys can tell uh, how she was feeling. And this, you know, transmit, this transmits guys from, from you as the photographer to them as our model. And, and when we get those reactions, it goes right back to us. And I am talking to her here about changing. Um, we're gonna change the background. And she was gonna put her clothes on uh, the original ones again, um, just to get a, and that and that just to get a couple of different shots uh, with a different backdrop. And this is a uh, vintage canvas um, that I used, the peach vintage peach vintage uh, canvas. I did not have behind the scene video for those shots, but I uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. And guys, if you enjoy this video. This is your boy, Pedro Pereira. I've been a photographer for almost, uh, almost 10 years. And uh, 
I would love for you guys to make sure you subscribe, uh, share this video, comment on this video, and uh, make sure you turn on the notifications so you're notified when we uh, upload a video. So make sure you guys do all that and we'll be with you guys soon on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you comment. Later.